Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Um, so this app is on Ubuntu. It's a Linux app. Uh, it's called Record It Now. It's a front end, another front end to record my desktop. And it's got a lot of features compared to GDK Record My Desktop. And it's a really new app. It's a plugin based desktop recorder. Right? I'll show you. It's one of the uh, main features. Let's zoom out and use this instead. Hmm, as you can see over here, yeah, you can enable system tray icon. So this is the system tray icon. And you can hide the recording window. Yeah, you can hide this window. If you don't check this, it will record even this window. So it's got timer. Actually, you can set it. This could be really useful sometimes. You can set the timer and it will start after that. Um, show file after record. Yeah. And you can even encode it. Now this is a really nice feature which we don't re usually see with um, screen casting applications so you can encode it with the ffmpeg or mencoder you can add your own command I'll show you over here yes you can add this, this is the command like for avi mpeg uh, and wmv actually you have to modify this command and with mencoder as you can see over here uh, you're using mp3 and uh, avc codec and the output will be VLC. I'm sorry, FLV. Yeah. And uh, yeah, even we have some other options over here. Yep, AVI, for example, it is using MPEG4 video codec, and these are the settings MP3 audio. As you can see, we have an encoding option. So you can even encode your video, like video recording, on fly. Uh, or maybe after recording it to your uh, popular format to your format it uses record my desktop as I said and you get the same features that you see on GDK record my desktop you can specify your sound source encoding options this is for the video quality and audio quality yeah this would do good and this is the bitrate 45 mbps as you can see this is the same thing that you find in GTK record my desktop anyways I will cancel this and you can even use this utility to record uh, you know capture screenshots still screenshots PNG or other formats as you can see over here you can choose from PNG to XPM you can draw the cursor or not it's up to you in fact you can even position it you can choose your uh, top left kind of oh this is cool branding I've never seen this before anyways uh, you guys try it out and another cool feature is you can actually upload it to YouTube directly from this app if I choose this uh, if I click over here and I click on YouTube you have to specify the account you add the account okay username and password and then it will upload it directly to YouTube. It's kind of cool, yeah. For such a small app to have this feature, you can upload it to YouTube and blip.tv. You can record a window. You, you click on the icon and choose the window. Or if you record the entire screen, it will record the entire screen. And you can even play it. You know, just after the recording, it will play automatically. Show file after record. Okay, I'm unchecking it and one more feature which I this one zoom feature this is one of the coolest feature that I've seen actually it's not the coolest feature but it's a nice feature that you might need if you don't install if you haven't installed compass like if you have got genome shell then you might need this because you can actually zoom in just the way I'm zooming in right now not th this way uh, I won't be showing it right now because I got kind of disappointed because it has the same bug that I found in record my desktop the audio clipping bug so uh, I'm not making video vi using this app or I might just show you now oh hold on hold on um, I will show you this um, zooming features too and as far as mouse is concerned if you get mouse clicks right for the left mouse button you get one click for the third one for the middle mouse and all that you get different mouse clicks so you can add it you can remove it um, shortcuts you have the shortcuts over here to zoom in zoom out 
to upload and obviously to stop and start the recording fine I will just try and give a sample over here I will add this is my okay guys now I'm using this app as you can see over here if I press it will give red and if I right click it will give yellow just as I was talking about earlier and uh, I'll try to launch the zoom feature yes as you can see this is the zoom window that you get with this app so it's not like compass zoom but it's uh, different anyways I'll stop it over here and here I was this is the timer that I was talking about anyways I'll, like you can pause it you can stop it